<laughs> Interesting thing I've noticed as well is that when I die due to oxygen starvation, or asphyxiation, I suppose you'd say, <gasps> I do a big gasp when I come back to life. It's a nice little detail, isn't it? Yeah, that seems pretty reliable. Wait, wait. Hang on, I'm not at the... I thought I was supposed to start at the South Pole each time. This is not at the South Pole. This is the... Well, this is the South Pole. Why are there no trees this time? Ah, this place is a mystery. Right. There was a forest here before, now it's a... Huh. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Okay, well, I know I need to be at the North Pole for this to work, so... Oh, I see. So because it's on Giant's Deep, there's a water tornado. Does that make sense? So why don't I try and walk in... I get this is gonna fly. Yeah, it's gonna throw me into space. So... Turn off the lights. So we're at the sixth location, but uh, yeah, I need to be. Yeah, okay. I've got it now, I've got it. I've, I understand. Yes, it, yes, okay. Interesting, but they're all kind of similar to. Okay. It, ta it takes on the form of the planet. Weird. Ah, good. Here we are. Right, so it's at the North Pole. That was the important thing. Seems to be the... the I mean, that's the picture of the eye. I thought the whole thing was that they didn't find the eye. Did they find the eye and then just get bored and start doing the, the, the stuff with the sun? Ah, here we go. Right. So I what killed that... The, the, the other goat men I found here, they all seem to be quite dead, but they, they built this thing to find this thing. Uh, whatever this thing is. Okay, now that's gone. Well, that might be the only way I can get it. Okay, I might not be getting off of this one. So is my ship still here? I'm hoping my ship's still here. Don't quite trust my fuel and oxygen reserves to get out of here myself. Ship. And this is the South Pole. Oh my god, it's a living one! I'm going to punch you in the face. Come here. Who are you? That's a neat little magic trick you've done there. Pick up explaining stone. Pick up you stone. Pick up Quantum Moonstone, pick up Me Stone. Okay. Alright, identify you. Talk to me, you freaky goat man. I am Saladam, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Okay, great. Thank you for that lack of explanation. I 
I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Don't make, don't make this creepy, goat man. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Yes, well. Try harder. You've been around 100,000 years longer than I have, and I can understand you. Okay. This is the quantum moon where you're both standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Oh, okay, yeah, so, yeah, the eye of the universe is up there. Right. I figured that was the case. Alright, tell me what the eye of the universe is, then. You big goatee weirdo. <coughs> it's probably a good thing he can't understand me in fairness, because I'm not being incredibly, uh... I'm not being incredibly complimentary to him. We're orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it. Only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself. My clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. So if I fly up, I won't find it then. Yeah. Right, we've done all of those. So let's do explain. Uh, explain you. I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All know my and my clan make this journey when we come of age. Ah, okay, I guess time's weird here. Even though the eye remain, cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. Okay. Explain me! Go on then, I dare you! I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and find the eye of the universe. Well, kind of-ish, I suppose. Okay. Explain quantum moon. Oh, sorry. Have you encountered a quantum shard on the planet? The shard looks the same as the quantum moon surface does now, while at the eye. From this we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristics the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for example, are quantum, thus the eyes are likely also quantum. Uh, okay. Alright, last combination. Explain the eye of the universe. There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this is uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale, as one approaches the eye. However, that uncertainty grows enormously. Quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect. When you've seen somewhere else this, sir. Uh, quantum observation forces the quantum to collapse to a single possibility, but what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest great question. Why don't you just fly up into it? I mean, it's just there. I've run out of tablets. What happens if I put a... Quantum moon eye of the universe? What does that do? Oh. Well, there is a... Oh, God, there's a lot of options here. Okay. You may sound strange, but I have a hypothesis that I'm not entirely alive. Uh, do you know what? I have, I've had that feeling for a little while now. Okay, I've got a lot of options here. Right, Quantum Moon and me. Sounds like a sitcom, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you don't know what those are. This is your first time on the Quantum Moon. It's my first time here. If you've come looking for answers, I hope you find them. Well, I, sp I mean, I'm getting a few answers, I suppose. But uh, right, so all right, you and me, eh? We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. I mean, your people did try and explode the sun and kill us before we evolved. Unfortunately, I can't tell you that because, you know, you don't know my language. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effects of your conscious reserve might be? I imagine it'll kill me. Because, honestly, that's pretty much everything in this universe does. 
now beginning to forget which combinations I've done. Yes, I've done that one. Uh, right. Identify, explain. Do that one, eh? Oh, okay. Fair enough. I, I think I've run out of combinations. Uh, me and moon, me and the eye, me and you. You and the moon, you and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, there's a limited number of combinations, really. Well, there's not a lot else going on here, my goatee friend. Um... I thought that would bother him more than it did. Oh, hang on. Let's, uh, let's get a selfie. Hey! Don't look at me. Look at the camera. Do you, have you not, do you not have cameras? These are, you know, not familiar. But look! Unfortunately, I'll die and this... I won't be able to take this photo with me. But, you know, it's nice. I, I'll, I'll have the memory of it. Um, right, what happens if I shoot? Ooh. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna throw myself into the center of the universe now, see what happens. That's just the kind of guy I am, so bye, goat man. By the way, you're the, your entire civilization's dead. Uh, sorry to tell you that. I wonder if I bring one of these here, even. Uh, probably not. I wonder if I could... Nah. Yeah. Alright, bye. Woohoo! Uh, that just threw me back to the moon, didn't it? Huh. Just realised this is a lot faster. I've got a, I do have a flashlight. Whoa. I haven't looked at the dark bramble planet, thinking about it. So I wonder if this just looks like a dark bramble, or whether there's actually a seed somewhere. And whatever the case may be, I think the only planet that I can actually access the North Pole on is the Ash Twin. It won't go to the Twin... to the Twin Planets anymore. Um, however... If I'm here at the end of the universe, will the sun exploding reach me? Oh, yep, yeah, okay, I still die. A nice try, though. Right. Well, I think I don't think there's any reason I really I need to go back to the quantum moon. Um, I mean, unless it turns out I need to throw something into the eye, and that's what you do with an eye, isn't it? You poke it. So I think I'm generally I've covered it. Yes. Seems to be quite uh, comprehensive. Salem wonders what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye. Well, I did enter the eye, and I... I just teleported to a different... The moon just moved. Huh. Okay. Well, I mean... I think I've pretty much covered the quantum stuff there. Which is a shame. I liked the quantum stuff, and it kind of didn't really go anywhere. I, I found the eye of the universe, I suppose. You know, the Nomai were looking for that. So I, I think I... Well, I found... I kind of looked a little bit at the eye of the universe. It's not that clear. It's really not that clear. Um, okay, I still need to get to the Southern Observatory on uh, Fragile Hollow, I suppose. Uh, which means no, uh, Brittle Hollow. Damn it, I will remember this planet's name at some point. Or I won't, and I won't lose any sleep over it, honestly. I have a feeling this is the one I went in before, though, and it screwed me. Yeah, so this one just sort of spits you out. Is this where I needed to go? I don't think it is. But regardless, it's where I have gone. Okay, let's just keep moving, I guess.
Okay, I'm beginning to get the hang of this one now. Still... Oh no, this is the South Pole. I've done it. Uh... In theory. Uh, okay. No, that's not fair. Uh, what's the point of those? Okay. This is. Let's try it again. I've just done a big. <laughs> I'm just circumnavigating now. Did I hit something? I guess. Oh, I am just building up speed, though. Ah, ah. I lost, lost momentum. Oh, I hate this. Really do. Really, really hate this. Let's try this again. Why? Why does it bounce me? It's... It, I, uh. Okay. Managed to salvage it. I don't know this takes me. Oh, this is over here. Ow. Well, <sighs> I guess I did it that time. <sighs> I'm going to be so glad when I don't have to come here anymore. Uh, it's over here. Yes. Alright, please tell me this is the entrance to the southern lab because I am so bored of this now. Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Yes! This is it. Right, I'm going to open the door. There's point number one. So if I accidentally do something that teleports me out of here, I can just come walk back in on at least this same circuit. Okay. Good. Giant's Deep. Is this going to show me the middle? No, this is the uh, dry dock. That's wet. The wet dock. Just a uh, regular dock. Alright, I've already read that one. That was the one that told me how to get here. So... This is supposed to explain to me how to get to the center of Giant's Deep. Although, apparently I have already done that, although I died doing it, but still. Yes, I was going to say, I feel like that's information you could have just told them. You could have just said, yes, one of the cyclones rotates the opposite direction. That's it. That's how you get into Giant's Deep. It's like, could you not have just told me that? It's like, yes, but I wanted to build a model. Bloody scientists. Okay, so I need to find the cyclone that spins clockwise. Oh, I see. So this is what they think the eye looks like. Lots of circles going in and out. I mean, I've seen it. I've been inside of it, and I don't remember it looking like that, but okay. Okay, so this is talking about the probe. So the probe was to find the eye of the universe as well. But they already found the eye on the quantum moon. So I'm a bit confused. Why don't they just build stuff on the quantum moon? Well, I know how to get into the center of Giant's Deep now. That's good. Is there anything left I need to do on this planet? I suppose there's the... The city under the North Pole? Was that a thing? I think that might have been a thing. Nope. Well... Ow! Okay, well, I'm not finding it on this loop if there is. Okay, well... Seeing as I have found the way to get to the center of Giant's Deep, and I hate Brittle Hollow, let's go to Giant's Deep! Yeah! Let's finish that, that one off. You know, in hindsight, the whole thing with the tornadoes... It's both clever and makes a lot of sense. 
And it's also one of those things that just sort of, you know, kind of annoyed I didn't figure out on my own. Ah! I think this is it. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. Whoosh! Ha ha ha! There we are. It's a bit scary. Whoa! That shouldn't be as funny as it is. Okay. Jellyfish. I think I need to do something with the jellyfish. Okay. My reactor's damaged. Probably important I fix that. Ah! My ship tried to kill me. There's mutiny. Mutiny, I tell you. I'm very nearly dead, too. Um. Ow. Right, okay, jellyfish. Seeing as I'm here. Okay, I don't know how this is going to work, but, um. I mean, if I die, it's, you know, not the end of the world, is it? Yep. Okay, ow. <gasps> right, well, that didn't work. Do I have anything on my ship's computer? I'm sure the jellyfish. I'm sure the jellyfish do something to negate. I'm sure that's what he said. Can't find anything on my ship's computer that says anything about it, so, uh, trial and error it is. That's the Captain Jack Man way. The only electric on the sides. So, what happens if I land on one's head? Okay. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Trial and error. Trial and error. So the jellyfish has gone through, there's this red dot here. Is this red dot safe to go through? No. Not at all. Okay. That's test number two. Can I go into the jellyfish from the bottom? Nope. They don't like that either. I'm running out of ideas now. That's three experiments I've done. That's more science than... Well, that's more science than I do in most months. Okay. I'm beginning to think that my ship can't do it. So maybe I can. Well, I mean, this will either kill me or it won't. Going on the top, not an option. Sides, dangerous. Underneath. Now, that, that's not the bit I was going for. This bit. Ah. There we go. It's a right inside. I knew I'd figure it out eventually. You know, plus all of the, you know, hints that Feldspar gave me, I suppose. I mean, he did literally point me in the direction of a jellyfish and say, this is where you need to go. Now, let's just hope I don't run out of oxygen before I figure out the next clue. Ah! There she is. So this must be, like, some sort of weird coral. I mean, in fact, it's all coral is weird, but... Like, big space coral, that kind of weird. Here's what I've come for. Entrance to the probe. I think it's dry in here as well. Whee! Hooray! I mean, I can't get out of here, but hooray! We finally found this thing. Okay. There's the big gun. There's the giant's deep. There's the probe. Where's it gone? Oh. 
stand back from that and lose an eye. Uh, achieving previous launch is from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched, 9,403. Deep Space Anomaly match all known criteria for IO Universe found by probe 9354. Ah! Oh, it's like a brand logo. Achieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the Eye of the Universe. Oh! They found it! I mean, it took them a very long time, but they found it. Well done, them. You know, if I... That one who's still alive, I suppose I could go and tell him what happened. I'm not going to, because he can't understand me. But I could. I could. That's got a good point. It's like, wow, well, someone... We only need to fire the probe once. What does it matter if the cannon breaks? It's like, well, because we need this section of the ship to track the damn probe, you idiot. They also need to be alive, I suppose. And I guess they figured this would come a lot quicker than it did. So I still haven't found the third person who's got the, uh... Or maybe that's the dude on the quantum planet. I mean, it's me, that other, that, that casual guy, and then the one on the quantum... Mm, okay. That's, that's three, I suppose. So here we are, moment of truth. Uh, this isn't it. Huh. Uh. Right, I thought I'd be able to see... I thought the this one, the uh, probe launch module protection, projection stone, would actually show me the launch module. Um, it does not. It shows me the section of the gun, which I've already seen. Right. But I did find the location of the center of the universe, which is, or the eye of the universe, which isn't necessarily the center of the universe. Good. I can't do anything now. I mean, I could technically leave, ride a jellyfish out, swim back up, get back to my ship, but it's been a hot minute and I don't think there's any point, so I might just meditate. Let's just double check and make sure I'm definitely not missing anything else, but I think... Yes, let's just die. I think that the tower is completely detached now, apart from one little... One little strut holding it up. Here we go, here we go. Come on, you dirty little strut. You know you want it. You know you want it. Give it to old Captain Jack. There's a good strut. Oh! There we go!